Dear friends and followers, welcome back to my channel and greetings from the Airbus A320 simulator at the TFC Flight Training Center here in Essen, Germany. This is video number three out of 10 Airbus introduction videos and today I'll be giving you a basic explanation of the Airbus A320 fuel system. So let's get started. The A320 fuel system consists of the fuel tanks, controls the distribution of the fuel during refueling, supplies fuel to the engines and APU, cools the oil for the integrated drive generator lubrication system, keeps fuel in the outer wing for wing bending and flutter relief, and supplies information on the ECAM and cockpit indications. Within the cockpit, we have all the related fuel switches on the overhead panel and the ECAM display showing the fuel panel after pressing the fuel button on the ECAM control panel. Other than that, the ECAM will automatically display the fuel page in case of a system failure or warning. Outside of the cockpit, you can find the refueling panel on the lower part of the fuselage below the right hand wing and the refueling coupling in the midsection on either side of the wings. The fuel is stored in three tanks, the left and right wing tank and the center tank. The wing tanks are further divided into an inner tank and an outer tank. The total usable fuel capacity is 23,858 litres or 6,302 US gallons on the Airbus AC20 model. Okay, let's look at the ECAM fuel display. Starting at the bottom, we have the FOB, the fuel on board. Moving up, we have a scheme of the wing tanks, each showing the current fuel quantity and the fuel temperature, except for the one in the center tank, which isn't exposed as much to the outside air temperatures compared to the wing tanks. And then you have the fuel pumps, the cross-feed valve and the fuel lines towards the engines, including the low-pressure fuel valve. Number one and two represent the engine one and two plus the fuel each engine has used since engine start and the sum of that. Now as you can see there is a barrier between the outer wing tank and the inner wing tank. That's there for a specific reason. The fuel systems will primarily empty or use the center tanks first then the inner tanks and as soon as the inner tanks reach a fuel level of 750 kilograms a transfer valve will open letting the outer wing tank fuel flow into the inner tank by gravity. The reason therefore is to reduce wing bending and control wing flutter during flight. Now you can see that each side is isolated from each other, but if there were to be any abnormality, like an engine failure for example, a fuel imbalance could create a further problem. That's where the cross feed valve comes to play. Normally the valve is closed, but setting it into the open position, fuel then can be transferred from the heavier side to the lighter side using the fuel pumps accordingly. There is a total of six identical fuel pumps, two in each inner wing tank and two in the center tank. When the wing tank pumps are selected on, they operate continuously providing necessary pressure to the fuel line feeding the engines and are manually switched off after the engines are shut down and reaching the parking position. To make the system redundant, suction valves are installed in each wing tank. So, in case both fuel pumps fail in a wing tank, the engines can use suction pressure to extract the remaining fuel from the tank. But, there aren't any suction valves installed in the center tank. Therefore, in case both center tank pumps should fail, the remaining fuel is not available from the center tank. Also, the fuel is limited by temperature. The minimum temperature for Jet A1 fuel is minus 43 degrees and a maximum of plus 45 degrees. 
To counteract from fuel freezing up in cruise, Airbus has installed a fuel-to-oil heat exchanger. During flight, the cold fuel cools the hot oil of the integrated drive generator and at the same time the oil warms up the fuel to prevent it from freezing. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the basic introduction video of the fuel system on the Airbus A320. Thank you very much for the support by TFC providing me with this great flight simulator and see you next week. All the best, your Captain Joe.